Breakfast is the most important meal of the day in my opinion and I'm going to show you how to do the perfect baked eggs. And to me, it's all about starting on the base. Pan on the heat, which is oven proof. Start the heat over high, because we're gonna get this rolling. Start off with a good three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now, the important part to a good baked eggs is the base. Now, in Spanish cooking, they make a thing called a sofrito, where they spend the time frying off aromats, infuse the flavor into the oil, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this classic breakfast dish. Now, I have a couple of cloves of garlic here, and just bruise it. This dish is all about sharing and chunky, bite-sized pieces. Get it into this oil and get all that flavor into it. One red onion, just finely slice into the oil once again, and I'm using a red onion. It's a little bit sweeter, and I think it cooks off nicely in the oven to add a deeper flavor to the dish. There we go. One onion straight in. About two star anise, whole stick of cinnamon, one dried habanero chili, just torn in. And I think dried is a really good option to use when you're frying it off in oil rather than a fresh chili. Just gonna work it in the pan a little bit. Now with that oil bubbling away, we're infusing those great flavors into it which are going to permeate the whole baked eggs. Into the oil now, a few sprigs of rosemary, just straight in, whole. And I've got a really good quality Tabaldi pork chipolata. So about a cup of your favorite sausage. I'm just chopping these chipolatas into bite-sized pieces so it's easier to eat at the end. I'm gonna add them into the pan and let them saute off until the fat starts to render out of the sausage meat and add flavor to this dish. I'm also reducing the heat in this pan because I do want the garlic and onion to caramelize a little bit and the spices to cook off, but I don't wanna put a deep, charry flavor through this dish. And this oil here, this is liquid gold in the cooking world. The garlic, the onion, the rosemary, the chili, the spices I've put in there, and now these pork chipolatas are all adding their lovely flavor into that oil. The chipolatas have started to release their oils into this dish, and now we can start adding the rest of the ingredients. So I have a teaspoon of cumin powder in, a tablespoon of brown sugar in. I think all breakfast dishes need that balance of sweet and savory, and that brown sugar really helps to do that. A couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar in. Give it a stir. It's really important as you're cooking and building dishes to continually stir it while you're adding ingredients so you get an even distribution of everything before it goes into the oven, before you put the lid on it. Now a tin of tomatoes straight in and some really good quality Australian organic chicken stock. When this goes into the oven, the sauce is going to reduce down, the tomatoes are all gonna burst, and we're pretty much there. This is just gonna simmer on the stove top for five to 10 minutes to let the flavors develop before I crack the eggs over the top and get it into the oven, and I have a lovely breakfast. that will feed about six people. Well, that took no time at all. And as you can see, the eggs have cooked off perfectly. And now it's just time to enjoy breakfast. Just scoop out the egg. This is a sharing baked eggs. This is great for a family Sunday breakfast. Make sure you get some sausages involved in that. Bit of the tomato sauce. And then just topping it off with some dukkha. You quite often see baked eggs or shakshuka served with it and it just adds a nice textural crunch and this one's got a lemon myrtle scent in it so a nice citrus note to cut through the rich pork chipolatas. Such an easy, simple and satisfying breakfast that the whole family can enjoy.